And what are your thoughts on the development of the CFC prospect game? Uh, I think it's been um, probably, as we talked about, a little bit overdue. For one thing, I know that it has been something that uh, has been on the mind of the folks at CFC for a while. It's something they've been been working towards, and something that you know I've been looking forward mm -hmm. to for a few years. And I'm glad to see this come to fruition. Um, the talent is is certainly at a point where this is something that football in Canada is ready for, and you've got a, a bunch of deserving players out there. It's, it's been kind of cool to talk to some of the, the guys who are youth sports coaches who are out there coaching. And these are guys that, for real, recruit high school players. So it's not about rankings or anything like that, but they, these guys for a living, I mean, this is what they do, is kind of evaluate these players and project what they're gonna become. And to hear, to a man, the feeling that, yeah, you very much got the right guys out here on the field, that these truly are the, the best kids and kids who deserve this opportunity. Yeah, all 70 of these kids are going to wind up getting an opportunity to play college football if their grades are right and the situation doesn't change between now and then. So they've got the right guys. And really the development of CFC as much as the game because this is a thing. And it's a thing because CFC has become a thing. So, you know, all these kids have been following where they are on the rankings. They've been, you know, engaged over, around, around high school football across the country because of the hub that CFC has provided, right? So it's not just any other company. I mean, there's so many for-profit companies out there that talk about, you know, you're, you're an all-star and you're a provincial team, and, and they're, they're all just phony, right? But the way they've gone through the process and just how big of a deal CFC has become, I just think that, you know, the Canadian players want to be a part of this because we see the All-America games all the time, and this is essentially a, an all-Canadian game, and I don't think any other group could pull it off. So what do you think a televised game means for the development of amateur football in Canada? Well, for me, I, I think it's a great step. We saw this uh, with the BioSteel game in basketball four years ago, and I think it's been long overdue that we do it in football. And, you know, the sport of football has, has taken some criticism in the last decade, you know, based on the concussion issue. And, you know, I know there's a lot of concern about numbers and, and participation rates and things like that. So for young people to be able to see other young people play the game and to do it at such a high level, it can do nothing but benefit the sport. Not, you know, forget the fact that this is going to do so much for these individual kids' exposure, but for the growth and development, it's a big time positive. Yeah, and I think it's a, an opportunity as well to sort of celebrate and really expose how far the game has, has become. We see this every year in the CFL Combine that you know, as you kind of go every five years or every 10 years, you see that kids are coming in much more advanced than they were a decade earlier. And this kind of shows it at the, the high school level that just, just how far the game has become. And I think that a lot of times, people look at this as distantly removed from the Canadian Football League, which is on TV with three or four games every weekend. And it's, it's not that far off, quite mm -hmm. frankly, that you, you see how good these kids are and, and recognize that you can sit down and watch this game and take down names and, and quite literally there are going to be a lot of kids playing in this game that are guys that we're going to be talking about in CFL games sort of six or seven years down the road.